Hello guys, welcome back to the Obit Voyage. And judging by the title of this video, you guys have already know that I'm selling this bike today. So today is the day I'm selling my bike. I I I have been using it for quite a while now. And before I go into the things why I'm selling this bike, I would like to tell you a few plus points about this bike. So I have traveled 500 kilometers odd uh, one way, uh, the furthest distance I would say on this motorcycle. Uh, the recent trip of mine uh, was to the Poladpur. So I traveled from Mumbai to Pali and from Pali to Poladpur and seen who all the way back to the Mumbai. So during this journey, I took two breaks, one for the refueling and one for the water. That's it. The pillion comfort and the rider comfort on this bike, I would say, is spot on. You can eat miles after miles in this side. And also the long travel suspension, they helps you in soaking up all those bumps and the potholes which are there on the road. So you hardly feel a thing. Also the mileage of this bike is quite phenomenal. Uh, uh, for my daily commuting, uh, it gives me somewhere around 35-38 kmph. And on the highways, uh, it gives me somewhere around 38-40 I would say, not more than that. But it works for me. So now let's dive into the part where I will explain you why I am selling this bike. So bear with me. I'll tell you all the events of series of events that happened to me and due to those events I have decided to sell my bike. So about a month or two, uh, about a month or two ago I would say, the first problem uh, arised that was my disc brake, my front disc brake. Damn thing wouldn't let go of my disc. So what happened is, uh, while in the traffic, I, I tend to use that front brake a lot so after tapping it in quick succession for four or five times it, it used to get locked and when I say locked my wheel was barely able to move what I did is I went to the service center uh, my service guy I asked him he's like you should replace your caliper it's been quite a while it has been 65,000 odd kilometers changed so he's like change it all right so i changed it with the new one uh, original one i would say from the honda spare parts uh, thing is you don't get local chalu quality mall for this particular bike uh, you have to buy spare from the honda itself and from the authentic spare part dealer again so i bought it i bought it for 3000 i replaced it it worked like a charm Ever since I replaced it, I never faced that same issue again. But only after few weeks, I would say, the new problem arised. Now the new problem was, uh, one fine morning while I was traveling towards Sandheri, I was trying to overtake a truck. So, so I cranked my throttle, as I said, but nothing happened engine made all the appropriate songs, uh, sounds which it should make and I waited. That pickup, that instant pickup was not there. So as always I went to my mechanic, he fiddled around with my bike and he's like I have to open your engine. I was like Thik hai, open garo, dikhte. He opened it and he examined it and he's like, Bhai, tumara valve gaya hai. My valves have been burnt, that's what he said. And I was like, Thik hai, replace them. He replaced them with the new ones. I used it that day, it worked just fine. And next day, very next day, I would say, the same problem. It started all over again. So this time I went back to the mechanic again. I was like, you said replace the valves. I have replaced it, but still that problem is not fixed. He's like, let me see. He again fiddled around. This time he replaced the carburetor with the unicorn carburetor and it worked 
just fine the way it should uh, so he concluded that I should replace my carburetor I asked him he's like if you want a, a original one it might cost you somewhere around 3000 or 4000 and if you want a local one you'll get it for like 2000 I was like okay uh, what I did is I did not replace my carburetor that day I decided to use the bike the way it was for a few days I, said, I was like okay I'll replace it later very next day while I was discussing this problem with my friend he gave me his mechanics number who used to work with the Honda service center so I went to him I left my bike with him next day he gave me a call and he told me that there is this thing called butterfly piston which is there in my carburetor which is faulty and I should replace it so he replaced it I mean he replaced that butterfly piston also he changed my oil seams and the balancer shaft uh, balancer shaft yeah something like that it was there in my engine uh, so he changed it all I spent almost 6000 rupees on it I would say uh, there were few more things which he, which he changed so I took my bike from him and it was working the way it should have worked so few days passed by nothing happened I was happy with it then I noticed my engine, my engine head was leaking the engine fluid, the oil. So I called up this mechanic, I was like, I is my engine leak or uh, engine oil leak or He's like, I'm not there for a few days, please call me back after a few days. I called him back, again he was not there. So I grew frustrated. I put my bike on Olex and one fine gentleman he bought this bike and today is the day he will be taking the delivery. So for a quite a while I have been contemplating that I should upgrade to the higher CC boost cycle and I feel this is the time I should. So I have shortlisted few options. Uh, one of them is FZ250, Domina 400 and this Apache RTR 200 so I have already taken test ride for RTR 200 and Apache uh, FC 250 I am yet to take test ride for Domina 400 which I will do it in few days time uh, also I'm, I, I haven't decided yet which one to buy I am very confused uh, if any of you gentlemen have one of these bikes or if you own one of these bikes do let me know what are your thoughts on these three uh, it, will be very helpful for me to choose one also if you like this kind of videos kindly subscribe to my channel and also like this video uh, I'll keep cranking up this video this kind of videos for you in future Voyager out Bye.